Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Burton Schuler. I'm a podiatrist, a foot specialist, and I live in Panama City, Florida. Today I'm going to visit with you about a condition known as the Morton's Neuroma. I'm going to tell you what it is, why you get it, and all of the various treatments that there are available. And then at the end, I'm going to tell you the fascinating history of this condition as compared to another condition known as the Morton's toe. So I start with a Morton's neuroma is an abnormal growth or an inflammation between these bones, the third and fourth metatarsal bone, most no normally. What happens is that you have a nerve that runs through this channel. But for whatever the reason, and there are many, these two metatarsal bones here start to impinge or squeeze or choke the nerve. Now over a period of years, if that occurs, you will start to get pain in your toes or pain in the balls of your feet. Now here is a drawing of a Morton's neuroma that was in my new book, Why You Really Hurt. And as you can see, The uh, growth of the nerve is very large. I made that extra large for teaching purposes. But what occurs is that the nerve itself gets swollen and inflamed from the constant rubbing of the two metatarsal heads. And that growth itself is technically a tumor. It's not a cancerous tumor, but it is a tumor. And it is um, enlarged due to the constant trauma. And that growth is... That growth is the neuroma itself, or inflammation of the nerve. Let me show you a, another picture of it from, a, a, from another book. This book is uh, 33 years old, and uh, I wrote it also many, many years ago. But this is a pretty good picture, too, of the Morton's neuroma. Again, you could see that growth of the nerve. Um, running between the metatarsal bones and that is what the neuroma is it's that inflammation of the nerve so okay a neuroma is an inflammation of the nerve that runs between normally the third and fourth met metatarsal bones right in here and let me show you on this foot here is the area right through here. Now, it's a very painful condition. Women sometimes say that it goes away once they take off their shoe and they, and they rub their foot in that area. But if you want to find out if you ha have an aroma, a simple test that I, I write about is that take your finger and squeeze right about there, right between the third and fourth metatarsal bones halfway down the foot and if it hurts at that spot that's where you have a neuroma let me show you show you another picture another picture of this test that I wrote about this is much better ah that's great now that circle is the approximate spot that you need to push on to find out if you have an aroma. If you put push hard at that approximately that area, if you do have an aroma, it, it will be pretty it will be pretty painful and pretty sore. So that's how you can figure out on your own if you do have a uh, uh, neuroma. Now, there are many, many treatments for a neuroma, and first let me tell you about the uh, non-surgical treatments, because those are my, that's what I do in my office. The aim of the treatment is to remove the pressure from these two metatarsal bones choking the nerve. Well, the first thing we have to do is get the pain and swelling down of the nerve. The nerve is very swollen and it's inflamed so you can either do that with a cortisone shot which is very popular 
where I tend to use a great deal of physical therapy, which includes high, hot packs, ultrasound, uh, and electrical stimulation to get the, the swelling out of the nerve. Just as an aside, I don't use any ice of any type for any condition at any time. Uh, after 37 years, I've learned what you want to do is bring heat into an area of pain. So if you have any type of uh, painful condition, you want to bring a heating pad or soaks into it. I know many people say to bring ice. Well, that is their opinion, and that's okay. But my opinion is you want to bring heat. And the reason is you want to wash away the inflammation with the heat. So that's what we do with the neuroma. We, we, uh, we, we wash away or get rid of the inflammation over a period of several visits by putting hot packs or ultrasound or electrical stimulation. Now once we do that, we then put a pad right behind the two metatarsal bone heads, right there. And what that does is that it lifts up it lifts up uh, these two metatarsal heads, separates them, and allows the neuroma to return to normal. That is the aim. Again, the reason you have the neuroma is because the metatarsal heads are squeezing or choking the nerve. If you stop the squeezing or choking, with time, uh, the neuroma pain should go away. Now, the reason it starts to choke it and squeeze it to start with is a whole nother topic, and that goes back to my favorite topic, which is the Morton's toe. In a moment, I'll tell you a little bit about the Morton's toe, but the Morton's toe is, is the cause of many, many foot problems, including the, the neuroma. So again, my favorite treatment is to try to lift the bones behind the metatarsal heads to allow the nerve not to be choked anymore. And over a period of time, most of that pain will go away. Now, in my office, in my hands, I have had great, great, great success doing that. Uh, I, in fact, have never cut out a neuroma in 37 years in private practice. Many doctors are going to hear that and say that's crazy, but I am not the only one who believes in it. Uh, obviously, I'm talking about surgery at this point. And, and the treatment after the conservative treatment, there are several. Let me tell you another treatment, and that is the most popular one now, is to inject alcohol into the, into the nerve itself, and that will get rid of the neuroma-type pain. That works many times, but also not always. So the last thing that you can do is cut the neuroma out, cut the tumor out, which as we speak is being done probably thousands of times today, around this country. I believe it's not that great a surgery. I've felt that way for 35 years. And a group of like-minded foot specialists have agreed with me over this time. And um, it's reached a point where uh, there are journal articles that are coming out that show that the, the, the surgery for the neuroma is not that great a treatment. It leaves a great deal to be desired and you just don't want to have it done unless it's an absent, absolutely last, last, uh, last uh, re resort. Uh, something I did not mention was the use of orthotics. Again, orthotics will lift those bones permanently on an ongoing basis and keep those bones separated and that is very useful. Now all of this information you could get, if you didn't catch it all at my website, footcareforyou.com. Any way that you spell footcareforyou.com, uh, you'll end up at my website, which is just loaded with tons of information about most all foot problems and also about the neuroma. Now let me tell you about the history of the neuroma because it's really fascinating. In 1876, this doctor here, Dr. Thomas George Morton, who was a professor of surgery um, at the Pennsylvania College of Medicine, first described this type of tumor. And um, he was the founder of the Morton's neuroma. Now, 
Now, there was another Dr. Morton, Dudley Joy Morton, who in the 1920s uh, described a medical condition of the first metatarsal bone that could, that could cause pains throughout the foot. Well, it turns out Dr. Thomas George Morton, who invented uh, the Morton's neuroma, died in 1903. And Dr. Dudley Joy Morton, who invented the Morton's toe, started medical school in 1903. It is highly unlikely these two Dr. Mortons ever knew one another. So it turns out we have two major conditions of the human foot, both named by uh, two different Dr. Mortons. Now to make it even more interesting, Dr. Dudley Morton showed that uh, in the 1920s that the reason for a Morton's neuroma was caused by the condition that he first described, the Morton's toe. And he proved it with, with, with an x-ray that appeared in a, in a medical journal. And this is the x-ray itself. This is a... Um, x-ray from a medical journal that Dr. Thomas George Morton published in I think 1899. Again, it took, this, this wasn't really shown until 25 years after Dr. Thomas Morton died. So that's basically what I wanted to tell you about the Morton's neuroma. There's a lot of interesting uh, facts behind it. And I just didn't want to give you a one minute or two minute or three minute uh, short little uh, talk. I wanted to give you a little lecture, but again, there's a great deal of information. But the basic thing is the Morton's Lee, you do not need surgery, and there's a lot of other ways of treating it. I want to thank you for taking your time and coming by, and please tell your friends about our series of videos, and we hope you did get a lot of that, a lot out of it. Thanks again.